nice little bass. What's going on, guys? Bama's Outdoors back with you again today. Out doing a little fishing. Thought I'd bring you guys along with me. Hopefully we'll have some good luck. Still pretty hot out. If you guys would reach up and hit that subscribe button, we sure would be grateful. And let's see what we can do today. Thanks for watching, guys. All about the same size. Jeez. I'm not complaining, though. Good looking little fish. I am still using the Ned Rig and I'm gonna use the Ned Rig probably for the next, I'm gonna say couple weeks. And then I believe I'm gonna change over to uh, some flukes and some shaky heads. I'm starting to see a lot of bait come shallow now, which means the bass are probably starting to get ready to school up and start chasing bait. We gotta be ready for them. Now we got a tater tot. We had a tater tot. Man, they are stacked up in this little cove. They're small. They're in here. Good looking little fish. Thank you, bud. Took us a little while, but we found another one. Come on, buddy. I'm all the way on the other side now. It got really slow on the other side, and I was hoping it'd get a little better over here, and we haven't been over here too long. Made about a half a dozen casts. looking bass. All right, bud. I love when they do that. Thanks. Awesome. I may actually be able to get to fish this bank the best I ever have because it is perfectly calm and that seldomly happens over here. So it looks like I might be able to go slow for a change. There's a couple spots along this side that I really wanted to spend some time trying to fish, but normally when I'm coming by, I mean, when I'm fishing this side, the wind is blowing right at my back. And I just go down, go past too quick. I do have an anchor. If 
I get tired of pulling that thing up and down. That is a freaking water, especially in this lake. It's muddy, and that thing gets stuck. It gets to be a pain in the butt sometimes. But I can definitely tell we're starting to get closer to fall. It feels really good right now. It's still pretty warm, don't get me wrong, but it's not blazing. That's a brim. Maybe a rock bass. No, let's see. What kind of guy is that? He's got a big mouth. He's like a little rock bass. All right, buddy. Cool little fish. Wasn't expecting to catch one of these. I think we got another little baby. It started raining on us. But the sun's still shining. Come on, fish stick. There he is. Cool. Maybe this little bit of rain will make them start biting better. I hope so. Well, we finally got a good one, guys. Heck yeah. Out here on a point. Shoot, yeah. What are you talking about? I've been looking for a decent sized fish in this lake forever, and even though this is not a big one, it's definitely bigger than what we've been catching. I might be onto something here. That's definitely a better fish. I think I'm gonna spend some time working this point and I'm still throwing the Ned rig and I'm way off this point and just working it back in. So let's try that for a little while longer. All right, bud, we appreciate it. That's awesome. I think we can pick up some better fish off this point. There's another one. Off the point, Ned Rig. I am way out here, right right where it starts getting a little bit shallower from the deep water. And they're hanging right there in that little transition spot between the deep water and right where it starts going, getting a little bit more shallow. Thanks, bud. Yes. Hammering them today. Well, we caught some more bait, guys. At least we're catching them. See if we can't grab one or two more and then we're gonna get out of here just lost a fish stick <laughs> trying to turn the camera on 
I complain about that all the time in the videos I know. I'm trying to turn the camera on and keeping enough pressure on the fish to get it, you know, so it won't come loose is difficult. I gotta come up with some other method of doing this. Y'all have any suggestions? Feel free to let them let me know down in the comments. I use my iPhone. I wish so much that my iPhone could be voice uh, activated as far as like turning turning the uh, recorder on, the video, you know, start recording. When I say record, instead of me having to go, kind of like GoPros. All right, guys, this will be a little bit unusual, but we're gonna do a giveaway. I know that's really odd. I haven't mentioned it in, in the video at all, anywhere. This is at the end. So, check out this hat. No coast fishing. I wanna be giving away uh, one of these hats. I got a white and black and a black and white. Uh, they're snapback hats. They look awesome. I mean, absolutely awesome. This is amazing company. I will leave a link down in the description to No Coast. Uh, but here's the rules to win the hat. Number one, you must be a subscriber. Number two, the hundredth, once we get a hundred comments on this video, the hundredth person to leave a comment on this video will win a no co no coast fishing hat. Here's another little rule. No more than two comments per person. So that way, if you keep up watching the video, you don't get to like 98 or 99, then, then leave the comment. So no more than two comments per person. You must be a subscriber to out, uh, Bama's Outdoors. And when we get to the 100th subscriber, I mean, we get to the 100th comment, I'll announce the winner. So, no coast fishing hat. Must be a subscriber. 100th comment. So, I hope you guys had a good time today. We had a great time. We caught about 16 fish all together. And uh, we'll be coming back at you again with some new, new videos here. It's starting to cool off a little bit here in the next week or two. The fish should be biting a lot better. And uh, we should have a good time. So, as always, guys, God bless. Happy fishing, and we'll see you again next time, and good luck on the hat giveaway. Thanks, guys.